The ministerial motion was tabled by State International Trade and E-Commerce Minister Dr. Sri Wong Sun Ko, who said Dr. Ting was never loyal to Sarawak or Malaysia following his alleged dual citizenship. The Bawang Asan Assemblyman added Dr. Ting has breached the provision of Article 17 1G of the State Constitution and deemed unfit to be a member of the State Assembly. Dr. Sri Wong also claimed that Dr. Ting had been declared a bankrupt twice when he was in Australia based on the Australian Financial Security Authority. The motion also sparked a fierce exchange of words inside the August House before it was put to a vote. 70 state assemblymen voted in favour of the motion while 10 others voted against before the second day of the state assembly sitting was adjourned by the Speaker Dr. Muhammad Asfia Awang Nasar. If the federal government is satisfied that any citizen has acquired by registration, naturalization or other voluntary and formal act, the citizenship of any country outside the Federation, the federal government may order, may by order deprive that person of his citizenship. Which means the moment you acquire an Australian citizenship, you are deprived of a Malaysian citizenship. You cannot have dual citizenship from Malaysia. Meanwhile, Sarawak DAP said it is mulling legal action against the State Legislative Assembly over its decision to disqualify its Pujit Assemblyman. With Dr. Ting's disqualification, the seat is now vacant and a state by-election should be called within 60 days.